What's up everybody, my name is Guillaume and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. What's up guys, I hope you're all doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. If it's your first time here, welcome. What I do is take bits of songs and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. The whole playlist is in the description box down below and I'm sure I've already covered your favorite one, so go check it out. If not, just leave it in the comment section and I'll get to it as soon as I can. And while you're down there, if you can consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel, that would be incredible. Thank you so very much in advance. And with that said, let's start with today's song, which is Pride and Joy by Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. Okay, so I've already covered one uh, SRV piece, which was Lenny. It was very, very early on. Still happy with that sound. I just, at the time, couldn't figure out, couldn't find at least the right fuzz without going into vintage fuzzes and, and all of that stuff to, to get that cleanup sound. This is a totally different vibe that we're going for right now. It's just the epitome of the Texas blues shuffle guitar sound. And uh, here's my recipe for it. Starting with the guitar, and I'm obviously going to use my Fender Strat because it's the last bit of comfort zone that I have here, and I, I need a little bit of that. And also it's strong with the right string because I, I, I do like my 12 to 56. Uh, so it fits quite nicely. I'm going to be in the neck pickup position only, all the way up. Volume all the way up as well, and let's talk about our amp and pedal setup. So obviously for SRV, the guitar was not even a conversation. It was just like, it needs to be a Strat. That being said, if at home you have any sort of ST type guitar with a single coil in the neck pickup, relatively low output, I would say, low to medium output, you should be in the right ballpark already. But as far as the amp and pedals are concerned, I'm, I'm first gonna tell you what I'm using right now and then I'm, I'm gonna explain why. So I'm going as per usual in my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Tweed Edition. The controls will be on your screen and in front of that, which is going to be the core of my sound, I have the Double Trouble by Honeybee Amplifiers because that pedal is just made for that sound, right? That was exactly the sound, the playing that uh, they had in mind when they created that, which is basically a clean drive, a boost on one side and a tube screamery circuit on the other side, which is called SRV land, and uh, that fits pretty perfectly. So I'm gonna use both the boost side and the tube screamer side, and that guitar into that pedal, into that amp, is gonna get me there. Now, I have not and I will never have the pretension of saying that it's anywhere near what Stevie used to do or used to sound like, but as far as mere mortals can go, I'd say I'm pretty happy about that current setup. Now, I wanted to talk about it a little bit because there's that whole can of worms about SRV's amplifiers. Are we talking about Silverface or Blackface or Marshalls or Dumbles, depending on the the era, basically, and then there's that other kind of worms with, is it a TS-808, is it a TS-9, which kind of chip, how were they stacked, was it the Tube Screamer and the Fuzz and the Wah, where was what? We still talk about it to this day because we still try to understand how it got to the sound that he had. But right now, it's not the time or place to do that kind of thing. I'm really just trying to give you guys some bold lines and recommendations to go in the right direction, but I mostly want you to have fun, learn that particular piece of music, but Stevie Ray Vaughan in general and that monument of, of guitar playing that is pride and joy. So, 
I'm happy with that sound, I'm gonna stick with it and I'm gonna go on to the final part of that video which as usual is the most important and is how to play the riff. And we'll start by talking about tuning because just as his main influence, I would say Jimi Hendrix, uh, SRV was tuned half a step down. So you take your E standard tuned guitar and you drop everything half a step down. And that's part of the reason why he was using such thick strings as well, uh, 12s and 13s up to 54, 56 different times obviously and uh, in different gauges depending on the very specific era. Once again, we can talk about that for hours. But I think in that particular context, it's, it's a big part of that sound in terms of frequencies. If you want to get to that uh, very bright but very growly Texas blues kind of sound, you need the low end that are going to come inherently with thicker strings. You can hardly get to that sound if your pickups are almost touching the strings, right? There is so much air going into that that you ideally, and it, at least I'm talking in a very personal way right now, the, the only way that I found to get somewhat close to that is to have thicker strings, so I'm rocking uh, 12 to 54, and a rather high action with pickups that are basically just sunk into the pick guard as low as possible. Because you're gonna compensate for that low uh, pickup output with the pedals, with the amps, by just cranking absolutely everything else in the chain. But I do think that it's important to at least mention before we start digging into the playing, starting with our fretting hand. Now it's going to be a little bit controversial here, but I'm going to go out and say it, that I don't think that Stevie's left hand was the most complicated thing in his playing and his sounding. We're not talking about lead parts per se, but really just that riff. It's, it's sort of easy to articulate, right? You really just have that shuffle and you keep it going and then it's not that fast on the, on the fretting side, so I think uh, you can easily get there. But the trick and the thing that makes Stevie sound like he does is his speaking hand. Let's have a look. And again, I'm going to start that part by saying that I have no pretension whatsoever to say that this is exactly the way that Stevie does it, but it's leaning in that direction. And his fretting was out of this world. There is no way to reproduce exactly what he was doing, with very few exceptions. Right? I'm thinking of JC Davey, Philip Sace, obviously, but the right hand is where it all lies. Like it's all there. We're talking about shuffle earlier, and that's, that's it, that's the shuffle. That's the train. You have that rotation almost going on with the picking side of it. And once that, that gets going, it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop on one string, and it doesn't stop on, on the other when you start going into you know, different chords, and, and it's, it's always the same thing. And then it's all about control, muting with your fretting hand. You definitely want to spend a considerable amount of time working on that shuffle and that picking technique. Very aggressive, very, you digging in, you fighting with the guitar, because that's the only way you're gonna get to that, that result. But with that said, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools that I could give you to hit the tone on SRV and Double Troubles, Pride and Joy.
As usual, I hope that I did that song some sort of justice and that you guys enjoyed this episode. If so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on the next ones. Let me know in the comment section which songs you'd like me to cover here in the future. And in the meantime, I wish you a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.